Hello everyone, it's indeed inspiring to see you back again. In this tutorial, we are going to see what are data panes, what is analytics pane, what is show me, and what is a worksheet, dashboard, stories. So a complete walkthrough of uh, uh, the Tableau interface, that is something we are going to do. You can see that this is the first screen and uh, we have already spoken about, discussed about this particular screen. Now, let me help you by connecting to some data set and then exploring the uh, nitty gritty of uh, Tableau. So let me click on the option Microsoft Excel. I'll be telling you more about file types and how to handle those files in the later videos. But here in this particular case, I'm taking sample superstore data and uh, clicking on open and hopefully it will be able to identify this particular file and will be able to load it. So here you can see that this is an area where we get all the data connections which are visible over here. So these are the sheets okay, coming from the source. And now I will just take one sheet, order sheet, and I'll drag it in the center space and it is going to populate the sheets over here. So this is basically helping us to organize the data and when we will go to the sheet one, the sheet section, we'll be able to see this data in the form of multiple columns over there. All the columns will be visible there. So here you can see in this particular area, we have uh, the first area where the connection basically is being made and uh, it gives us option to make connections to other data sources also. And uh, then on the right hand side top, you can see we have filter section and we can click on add button to add filters. I'm closing it and it shows that currently zero filters are being applied. Once you apply a filter here, in that particular case, what happens? It applies the filters globally across all the sheets. So you need to be careful if you're applying, if you really don't want some data to be here, you can filter it out and you can apply the filters here. Then this is meta information, that is fields. And here you can see we have row ID, then we have order ID, we have order date. So it basically tells us about that this particular row ID is coming from which particular table. So as of now, only one table we have, and therefore it is telling us about that. It also tells us about that what is the type of that particular field. So hash basically shows that it is a numeric type. ABC shows that it is a string that is alphanumeric type. Then this calendar icon shows that it is date time, basically data. And then this globe sign, it shows that it is geolocation, some city, some state, a pin code or a country. So it shows about that. So whatever data types are there, they are basically symbolized in this manner. And then on the right hand side, you can see all the data is visible over here. So this is what is basically the first screen after you load your data. Now on the sheet section on the leftmost side, if you really want to see what data is there, you can click on view data icon and that will populate, that will come up with a pop-up which will show you that which particular uh, columns are there and what are the data present over there. So this is how quickly you can look at your data and here you can see table section is there and an arrow is there. If you click on it, then basically it will expand, it will, it will basically minimize itself and you click it again it will expand itself so this is how it basically uh, shows you the data before you actually upload it so this is uh, there's a concept called as etl this is the first part of extracting the data we are extracting it and by applying the filters by modifying some values by deleting some columns we can e even transform the data that, that is the second stage of etl after transforming it then that data will get loaded once you click on this uh, particular area sheet one so it will get loaded okay transform data so this is an area where we actually start working with analytics you can see here we have a data pane and we have analytics pane so data pane has got all your uh, columns over here and uh, we have already seen what is the data type they are having and along with that in the analytics section if you see we have summarize we have model we have custom okay so three sections are there which basically help us to do further analysis with the data so this area also we need to explore then we have a, a column section over here row section over here and if you see that if i basically drag 
my mouse over these particular uh, you know columns then you can see it is showing me blue shade color and when I basically uh, make it on these discount profit and quantity it shows me green color so you can see that we have two types of uh, uh, variables or fields over here the first type that is called as dimensions they are dimensions so dimensions are uh, nouns they are ordered nouns okay so that, that can be categorical data and inside categorical it can be nominal it can be uh, discrete and it can also be ordinal data okay here it can be date or uh, time that kind of data but in case of measures they are measurable that means we can uh, sum them we can average them we can make some mathematical computations with them so they are shown in blue color so we call it as blue pills and this is called as green pills okay so blue pills and green pills that is how we actually call them then we have pages section so this pages section help us uh, to uh, show something page by page and that looks like an animation in tableau then filter section is there we had seen the filters in the previous screen also but in this screen this filter section this is a local filter local filter means that in this particular sheet only this filter is going to work if you will create another sheet and there you apply another filter so that filter will only be applicable to that particular sheet so filters are basically local these filters are local then we have mark section it has got multiple things uh, okay so here basically uh, whatever different different charts uh, we want to uh, create so it is basically by default set to automatic if you want to color something change on size work on size if you want to display some text if you want to bring something in the pop-up detailing if you want to keep something on tooltip so all these options are here when you will start doing the analysis then we have something on very much right top section that is show me i'm clicking on it it basically helps you out for visualization it will give you all the possible visualizations with the data which you have brought to the uh, center area which is the work area sheet area okay so uh, this is something which is going to help you that what are the possible charts which can be created with the data which you have here in uh, columns and rows section okay so this is how we actually start working then we have multiple options file data worksheet dashboards which uh, gradually we will keep on exploring and uh, we will try to work on those particular areas once again thank you very much for watching this particular video i hope this video was helpful for you to get started with tableau share this video with your friends and if you have not subscribed the channel please do subscribe and like this video thank you very much Thank you.